Hi everybody, my name is Andy and I'm the illustrator of the How to Catch series of books. In other words, I'm the guy who draws all of the pictures. Now one of the stories I've drawn is about a clever, crafty bird who wreaks havoc at school one day. And that story is called How to Catch a Turkey. Here it is right here. Maybe some of you have read it already. And there's the turkey on the back. Well, this morning I had an idea. Maybe you and I could have a go at drawing a turkey together. What do you think? Sounds good? Great. Okay, I'll start and then you join in whenever you're ready. Now, the first thing you notice about turkeys is they've got quite big round bodies, haven't they? So for that, we start off by doing a round shape, just like this. It doesn't have to be perfectly round, just round enough. And remember to leave a gap at the top because that's where the neck's going to pop out of later on. Also, you may have noticed I'm drawing on a computer today, but you can draw on paper. It doesn't make any difference at all. Once we've got the body, we need the wing. Now, turkeys can do a lot of flapping, but they'll never fly very far because they're too big and heavy. So we'll give this turkey a small wing on the side here, that curves around and goes into the feathers at the end. Just like this. We'll do some extra feathers here. It's like a number three with an extra little bit there. If you've taken a look at any turkey feathers, you'll see that sometimes the tips of the feathers look like they've been dipped into white paint. So we can do that on this by simply adding a little line at the end of each one. Just like that. The back of a turkey is a completely different story to a turkey's wing. A turkey's tail is big and beautiful and spreads out like a fan. So for that, we'll do a row of smaller feathers that go like this. They get a little bit bigger in the middle and then they go smaller near the end, just like that. And then behind them, a row of long, chunky feathers like this. Once again, all the way around and these two can get smaller as they reach the end. We'll make these look as if they've been dipped in paint as well. We'll do a line at the tip of each one and the smaller ones too. We can actually add more lines to these to make them look a little bit more feathery. So we can add the middle of the feather like that. And some diagonal lines. Just like this. We don't have to do this to all of the feathers. Just do enough until you feel happy. When you've got a body as big as this, you need a good pair of legs to stand on, don't you? And usually a turkey's legs are quite short and squat, but I think this time we'll give him long skinny legs. So here's the first leg, down like this, and the second leg, down like that. Don't forget the toes. Three toes, one, two, three, and the same here, one, two, three, all facing forward, and then an extra toe facing in the opposite direction. Just like this. If you've had a good look at a turkey's legs, you'll see that the skin is pretty scaly, a bit like a lizard. So we can give it a kind of scaly effect on these legs simply by adding lines going all the way down and to the tip of each toe, just like this. They don't have to be neat because they're trying to look rather scaly. So don't worry about that. Just do each leg and each toe. And there you have it, scaly legs. We'll do a little bit of shading at the top too, where the legs Meet the body. Next part 
is the neck and the head. I think for where the neck hits the body, we should give this turkey quite a feathery collar. So we can do some feathers that go around just like this. Actually, they look a bit like petals, don't they? Do some of those feathery lines here as well. And then the neck is going to curve up from the collar to the head. A turkey's skin on his neck is quite lumpy and bumpy. And we can show that by adding dots and bumps and things like this. I'm going to do the beak next. I'm going to give him quite a long pointy beak and we'll make him a happy turkey so he'll have a smile too. And the beak goes all the way there to the corners of his mouth and if you smile you'll see that the corners of your mouth make a shape just like that. So we'll do that shape there for this turkey too. And we'll take the beak at the top down to meet it and then we'll draw the bottom beak and we'll draw that up there as well. We can do the rest of the head now. Just an oval shape like an egg all the way around and then meeting the neck just there. When you smile it's not just your mouth that smiles it's your cheeks and your eyes as well. So to show this on the turkey when we do the eyes We'll do this shape for the eye and then we'll do a line here, curved, that looks like the cheek going up. We'll do the same for the other eye. And let's not forget the eyeballs itself. I'm going to put a little dot of white on each eye for a little bit, little bit of a highlight, just like this. What have I forgotten? Oh, I know, a nostril. There's a nostril in the beak. And also, turkeys have a strange flap of skin that falls down from the top of the beak. This flap of skin is called a snood. So it's quite a weird name for quite a weird looking thing. So let's draw the snood going down, just like this. There you go little bit of a shade in there. We'll give the snood some lumps and bumps too. I think we should give the turkey a little bit of a mask around his eyes just so he looks prettier. How's that? Great and the last thing I think a single feather on the top of his head and let's do that line there too. Now you can add to the turkey if you want. You can draw feathers underneath, just like this. They kind of make him look shaded. And give a little bit of feathery texture. You can do shading here on these tail feathers, where they meet the body. Just like this. And under the ones around his neck too. And his wing. Of course the final thing to do is colour him in. Now normally turkeys are dark brown or black aren't they? But you can do whatever colour you want. Red, yellow, green, blue, pink, even multicolour if you like. It's entirely up to you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching me draw a turkey like the one in the How to Catch a Turkey story. And I hope you have lots of fun drawing a turkey of your own too. Thanks for watching. Speak to you again soon. Bye.